here we are at the uh, Courtyard Marriott um, in um, Milford, Massachusetts, and they completely redid the hotel. So we are complete. We're gonna go and take a full hotel tour of this wonderful hotel. Uh, so the door is locked, so I have to use the key. To, you wanna? What you wanna do is you wanna wave it, and yeah, let me show you what you wanna do. When it locks, what you wanna do is touch it right there. Now let's go take a look at the fitness center. There is the elevator, which we're not going to ride. A big thank you to the staff at this courtyard for allowing me to take a look around. We're going to peek at the fitness center. Did you redo it? Okay. We're going to peek at the room first, but normally what we do is um, what I do. I've been wondering. How come on the handicap rooms you have these? Um, when I don't you have know. This? I think you can use both of them. I, you know what? I think this one makes the door open without having to push it. So if you're in a wheelchair, you can do this, and the door will just open for you. Cool. So I think you're going to be this one right here. Oh. Yeah, the one thing I like is these look like cameras. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> 106. Here's the key card. You have the fancy kind. What, it just locked on me? First of all, off to your left, you have a, a Kohler sink. I don't know what brand that faucet is, but here is the microwave. Yeah, every room is set up a little differently. How do you turn the light on in the bathroom? Um, I think it's that one. Oh. It used to be in the bathroom, I think. Yeah, here's a toilet, which we're not going to flush. <laughs> here's a shower. Pretty unique. Yeah, let's take a look at the bed. The bed, yeah. You have a nice bed and round chair like I've seen in all the other courtyards. And how do I open this? Yep, a hotel tour with a balcony room is not complete without going out. Oops, how do I open oh. Oh, it might be Ready? Yeah. Oh, there's a thing down here. Yeah, there's the, the little bar up here. Yeah, and there's the climate control system. And uh, it doesn't, oh, can, do you control it right here or do you control it over there? Mm, every room is different. And how come there's a thermostat on the wall? Yeah, that one you control over there, I think. Here is a nice balcony, um, a nice porch. You can walk right out into the courtyard, and if you go over here, you can see the pool, which we're going to take a look at next. I don't think they changed it, but we're about to find out for sure. Yeah. Is somebody scheduled to be in this room tonight? Um, I don't think so, but not everyone's here yet, so someone could end up in this room. Yeah, so, um, so, uh... Close the door, and you basically pull this up to lock it. And then there's a thing. Yep, there's a little plunger thing. Bar that goes down like that. Here, and you just lift it up, and yeah, actually, when you take that out. You can stick that. Oh, that's why right I didn't open. There. That's why. Yep. I'm just. I don't think the old rooms used to have these, did they? Um, I'm not sure. I think it's like an enhanced safety thing for now you. Now that we saw the room, let's peek in. Now here's just your regular style closet. Most hotel, yeah. I love this hotel. And here is your thermostat. And how come this isn't, the screen isn't on? Yeah, some of them you use it on the actual machine instead of the wall. This is probably for the heat, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Does the heat come out of there too? I think so. It gets pretty hot, so it usually just blows cold air. The heater? Yeah, and these locks, they look different. So I'm guessing you tap the key to open yeah, them. Yeah, instead of putting it in how you used to. Yeah, and I like how um, that, uh, yeah, and I like how um, that when you, that when you close the door, that, uh, that when you turn the handle, I like how it locks automatically, and when you mm -hmm. close the door, I like how the deadbolt comes out. Yeah. That way no one can break in. Exactly. <laughs> you know you're safe. Yeah. And, I, um, and these are, I believe those are Ving card locks. 
Okay. We're gonna keep looking. This is elevator B. We're coming up. We're not gonna ride that. Um, there's another exit to the courtyard. Oh, hello. We just ate dinner here. So we're gonna go take a look at the pool, the guest laundry, and the fitness center. Yeah. Here's the key card. Yeah, so I actually have two of their keys. Um, actually I have two keys from them. One that just says Courtyard Marriott and one that says Elite Member. And boy, I can smell the chlorine already from the pool. Oh, here's the guest laundry. There used to be a door here. They took it down for whatever reason. And you have some new washing machine equipment. And I bet this is, this, I don't know how that works. Whoops. Here's the ice machine. Danger. And I don't remember, but let's peek at the fitness center once I get the key scanned. What you want to do is you want to wave your car. There we go. New climate control system. There's, you got your water. For hot water, you have to push both of them, I think. Yep, that's, that's that. Um, you got two treadmills, an elliptical, all these new modern equipment things, you, and you got your weights, your new modern weights. Now we're gonna peek at the pool, which I don't think that changed at all either. Let's peek at the pool now. And yes, a couple years ago, uh, the pool didn't used to be key carted off, but unfortunately they key carted off to prevent little kids from going in, especially if they're not supposed to, so. Can you hold that for me? Yeah. This you mean? And can you pass me the elite one? What you wanna do is you wanna... Throw it in there. Anyway, here's the swimming pool. And they have a spa. Now let's go peek at the... Uh, what do you wanna look at? Let's look at the lobby. So, quickest way to get to the lobby is go out through here. And the lobby is right over here. There's another entrance to the pool, which unfortunately you can't go through there anymore. You used to, but they uh, they locked the locked those doors off when they when they key carded the doors off. So anyway, here's the key card again. That one over there was the one we just peeked at. And here they have a business center. Has brand new computers. Actually, they're laptops. Not gonna show those people. And here is the welcome pedestal. Here we have a little, my favorite goodie shop. The market. Up here you have wine, you have to, and you also have beer and wine drinks in there, but unfortunately, you have to see the front desk to purchase it or the welcome pedestals, which is right there. Now these keys are RFID, so you don't actually have to plug them in, you just touch them, which is nice. Because a lot of the time when you mess it, it will demagnetize and you have to go back to the desk again. And then you just go right out to pay for it. And, um, excuse me, where's the price on how much everything costs? There's a sign on the wall right next to the Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, here's the list of how much everything costs. Pause if you want to read any of these sections. And by the way, um, how much would a room typically sell for? Um, like one with just a king bed? on the first floor, like room 106. Like room, what was that number we looked at? 106. Um, well, it depends on each night and like the occupancy. 
And I mean for uh, for this weekend. Um, yeah, it depends. Yeah. Okay, what but what but what would the rate what would the normal rate be? Oh, okay. What kind of Is the highest it can go? No, it goes a lot higher than that. That's like, like the usually like, like the cheaper side. Like how much like the least amount of money? Yeah, and that room also has a height of bed in it and uh and here is the uh the the breakfast lounge and down here we have another exit and if you want to see they also have a Starbucks logo and here is the River Valley one meeting room or ballroom I don't know which we're gonna take a peek in here real quick here we here it is and we'll turn the light off or that that's the meeting room. I think down here is the ballroom. Yeah, it's nice. This thing looks beautiful. Better than it used to. So uh there is a screen. I think they may provide projection equipment at the front desk, but if they if they don't, um, I will probably tell about that in the comments, but but other than that, this hotel is beautiful. The room we looked at, it looks really great. And by the way, mommy, don't come out here, so. Every door um, that's not the main entrance, um, it says doors are locked, please use key card to entry, for entry. Got that thing down there, so. We're gonna enter back in. We're gonna scan the key. These are Ving card locks, so they work just instantly. Yeah, and when you scan the key, it opens up those keys. All right, that is it for now. And by the way, if you wanna know what kind of elevator it is, it is a Dover Impulse. However, ThyssenKrupp slapped their sticker on it. So I will go for now, and I will see you later. Bye.